Sug vacations. When it comes Ooh, to taking yeah, a vacation, you like Sorry, this? <laughs> a good yeah. The usual suspects are places like France, Italy, and Spain. But if you want to get some bang for your buck, think about traveling outside the box. Yes, we're talking about destinations that may not have been on your radar perhaps in the past, but now you should know they are affordable options. So travel expert Jennifer Dantes joins us with three fun, unique packs. So let's get started. There we go. So we're going to start with river cruising. All right, I've been on the Mississippi and the Ohio. They're fine rivers. Where are we going? We're talking about European river oh, cruising. Okay. You know, we've talked about all the great deals on those big cruise ships, mm -hmm. the big monster cruise ships. But when you go on those cruise lines, you have to pay for your excursions and alcohol is extra. Right now, there's a bunch of river cruises through Europe that those are included, those little extras, the excursions, bicycle tours, and your wine. And because the dollar is so much stronger, or you might say the euro is so much weaker, you can really get a good value. Look at last year, the euro was at 171 compared to the dollar. Right now, it's at 126. That's a huge savings to go over there. And there's, you know, it's almost like an all-inclusive trip. There's AMA waterways and Viking River Cruises, fantastic choices for the summer. Okay, next one you say sounds South Africa, and you know I can attest to this for our, my, our honeymoon, part of our honeymoon, we went to South Africa, and I wanted to just go on a beach somewhere and put my feet up, and my husband wanted adventure, so we compromised. We did Mauritius, which is an island, but anyway. Um, we also did an elephant back safari in South Africa. Fantastic. It was amazing. You think you've seen a nice resort. This place was Amazing. In addition to the safari part of it, right. for me, just the chefs. I mean, you just tell them what you want to eat, they just make it. I mean, it was amazing. They consider some of the lodges in South Africa to be 10 star, oh, you know, yeah. compared to the 5 star. Yeah. But with all of the tension in Africa, in Ken Kenya, and Tanzania, a lot of people have pulled away from going even to Africa. Yeah. Huge country, you know, mm -hmm. huge continent, lots of little countries there. South Africa is really trying to pull tourism. And in 2010, there's the World Cup there. So the prices are going to soar. If you're looking to go on a safari, do it this summer. Rainy season is like May. Mm -hmm. So if you go right out the right. cusp after May ends, you can get some really good deals off shoulder season to South Africa, Cape Town, Johannesburg, and some of those amazing lodges and like there, we stay And at. not just dwell on this, but there's so many places that we've never heard of. The place where we went, for example, there were six or seven villas, and we got there and they said, yeah, Will Smith actually rented out this whole place, uh -huh. and his kid got sick, so he just gave it away and let everybody just come in and enjoy it for free. Um, but there are amazing. so many places that the celebrities know about that now we can enjoy because the prices are down. So, All right, right. So you know. Third one, Irish pub tour. Yeah, well, you we know, just celebrated St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> right, and so a lot of people are looking at, you know, a lot of footage from Dublin and Ireland. Mm -hmm. and Ireland used to be the cheap destination if you were going to go over into that area. Um, Great Britain was always very expensive, mm -hmm. uh, London and Scotland, but Ireland was the cheaper alternative. They've had, they had a boom in their economy the past five years, and that's now on a on a downturn. So if you go to Ireland in November, we're not talking about the winter, in November you can get a four night, four star hotel, pub tour with busing, you know, and doing all the sites for six ninety nine with airfare. Wow. What kind of weather are you looking at in November? You know, it's on the Gulf Stream, and yeah. we can talk to Sue, but it never really gets below 60 degrees. Oh, okay. So it's wow. it's not bad. Light jacket. And you said it's a pub tour, so it's, you, you can, well, won't be outside a lot. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But there's a lot of, there's meals included, breakfast, dinners. Uh -huh. so I hear it's beautiful great, and green. Yeah. Right. And again, the euro is not as strong now, so you're going to get a lot more for your money over there. There you go. Really you quickly, go. we have to end this, but um, where do people go to make sure they're going to the right places? You can Google South Africa or you can Google River right. Cruises and see well, so many things. Right. Well, we're going to put some links on myfoxphilly.com and on my company's website, which is www.travelbyvip.com. We have all the information about the Irish pub tours, too. Right. We'll look for it there. Jennifer Donches, thank you. Thank you. All right.